So I have a word and I want to get it out when it's fresh, okay? So I was just sitting there and laying in my bed and stuff like that and just having time with God. And, um, you know, he was just talking to me about the heart. You know, I, I feel like God's children right now are, are feeling a wave of um, the Holy Spirit. You know what I mean? Like, you know, uh, normally when you get uh, the enemy tries to attack, is something big, you know what I mean, a uh, uh, breakthrough, you know? And so I was like, oh, I got to get this message out. Anyway, so he was just showing me the heart, right? And, you know, uh, we act out either from a wounded heart or from a healed heart, okay? And so as he was showing me that, like, you know, you're walking your life, right? And you have friends, family members, jobs, right? Um, and you're not, you didn't do the work. You are, uh, and you're working from a wounded heart, right? Versus a healed heart. And as you're allowing him to, what wounds are, so maybe, you know, you're feeling, you're drinking and you're just, you're empty, right? And you're like, what is that wound that's causing you to drink? You know what I mean? Um, what is that that you uh, you need to uh, ask God to come into my heart, right? Come into my heart as my Lord and Savior, right? So he can remove that wound so you can see clear so you don't need that anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because when he fills it with him, guess what? That, go that, that void, doesn't you don't crave that no more. Literally, your spirit will just not want it no more. You know what I mean? It's natural. It's not like we're trying, right? In our flesh, but it's naturally because you remove that wound in your life. And now you don't want that. Or maybe you're around friends, right? You're getting toxic friends and you're being used all the time, right? And so what is that wound that you need to deal with in your heart? Woo, Holy Spirit, move. What is that wound in your heart that causes you to choose those kind of friends that you haven't dealt with in your life? Ooh, I feel the spirit right now. So, um... Anyway, so, you, you know, uh, or whatever, it could be family members and stuff like that. The, all those wounds that you're choosing from, get what I'm saying? And when we, we can't put, when we push them down more, it causes us to choose uh, more toxic toxicity in our life, right? Because we're working from a wounded place, right? And we're not working from that healed place. So as you are like, come into my heart, right? Why does he ask that? Come into my heart as my Lord and Savior, because he wants to remove, that's where you allow him in to show you like, wow, wow, this is hurting me, you know, maybe it's childhood trauma, maybe you're abandoned by a parent, maybe whatever it is, put the shoe where it fits in your life, you know what I mean, and um, you, you're like, you're allowing God to, to take, go to that root issue right there, so he can pull that root out, and it hurts, you know what I mean, I know, this is where, you know, how I became a healer, right, because um, uh, uh, my trauma, you know, and all the stuff that I healed from, I, I became the healer now, you know what I mean? Like, and so he removed uh, as in my life, he, as he kept removing these wounds, right? And I'm like, why am I doing that? Why am I choosing this? Or in the past, toxic men, toxic relationships, right? And, and, and you're allowing that in your life, you know what I mean? Like, and this is where God comes in your life and your relationship, right? He kept directing me, like, and kept, and I, but see, I kept doing the work. I didn't care. I wanted to work. I wanted to break generational curses and stuff like that. And I wanted to things to change in my life. You know what I mean? For my mom having a, a birth, children at a young age, I wanted to break that. You know what I mean? So I had to do the work. You know. And anyways, and so he's just showing me like that. What are the wounds that are in our lives that are causing us to choose from that? unhealed heart right versus allowing him to pull that root out of your heart whatever that issue is in your life right and so you could choose from a healthy heart so you could see your worth and value you see i'm a seer you know what i mean like i love it you know because it's christ spirit lives in me and no longer i so when i go around people and now from before when i was working from a wounded heart to now being a healed heart and it continues right as he leads you you just keep growing you know what i mean and so I go to people, you know what I mean, in relationships, anywhere, you know what I mean, maybe dates or whatever, and I could see the difference, you know, on my confidence and who I am, you know what I mean? And I'm saying, I could look at somebody and just, they could have, be the richest person ever, and I just could intimidate them, right? Because it's my confidence and knowing who I am, he removed those holes and those things I did not that the enemy wants to pull, replace in your life, get what I'm saying? That's where he works for him. He's like, oh, maybe you could get that new car or that new house. I look at the, you know, Kardashians. I watch a lot of, you know, because I love it. I love seeing it. God teaches me everywhere. You know what I mean? Every little thing God could teach you to work in, okay? And so I'll watch them and I'm like, you know, uh, I look at them, you know, because they lost their dad and stuff like that. And um, I was watching in the videos, right? And they're just money, 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 right? They're trying to fill that wound. And it's, you can't fill that wound with money, 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 money. And then like, or, you know, um, Chloe, you know what I mean? Like in her, you know, issues when she was with her weight and stuff like that. I was watching her, right? I'm a seer. And so, you know, I just watching her lose, 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 try to fill that hole. Maybe if I'm skinnier, right? You know what I mean? Like I can fill that hole. You know, these are just examples, okay? And, and it's not going to ever, those things will never fill that hole. 
cool, okay? And until we remove that root issue and deal with that, you know what I mean? Like, in your life, that is going to make you to see who you really are, you know what I mean? Like, I just love... I just look back at myself, you know what I mean? Like, and the and just who I am now and the confidence. I just love going around. And this is where your value comes from. Everything God put inside you is in you, right? And, and until you remove those root issues, you're not going to see it. That's where the enemy wants to blind you, right? And he wants you to choose from a, a wounded heart, right? He doesn't want you to do the work. Because when you do the work, guess what? Your powerful energy, your wounds are healing. You're starting to see clearly like, oh, that person's not for me. Heck no, I don't think so. Bye-bye. And you don't have to worry about it. if it's you and you alone, it's okay. I'd rather be me alone than some fake person trying to use me. You know what I mean? And so I I'm just, I'm just, this is examples. Okay, you guys. But seriously, this is what's going on. And it just, this is so powerful. Thank you, Lord. But are we choosing, you know what I mean? Like to pull those root issues, what causes us to make those decisions in our life, whether it's job, career, friends, family, loved ones, relationships, especially, you know what I mean? Like, what is it causing you? You keep getting the same thing. This is what generation Chris is, right? You keep choosing the same, uh, you know, maybe relationship, dating, right? And you get the same outcome. Maybe, you know, toxic men, toxic women, you know what I mean? Like, um, being used, whatever that is, you know what I mean? Like, what is it in your heart that you need to remove so you could see your value and your eyes could be awakened? You know what I mean? And so, uh, and, and to see who you really are so you could choose from a place where you are healed and you are whole and you know who you are in Christ. You know what I mean? Woo! I feel the spirit. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so, get what I'm saying? And so, um, and I just went through an attack with the enemy and I'm like, I know there's a, a breakthrough and I'm like, I woke up this morning. And I was like, woo, I feel this energy anyways. And so, and this is what I'm telling you. This is the, this is the results that you get. Okay. Cause remember, and it says, uh, um, let me see, let me look at this. this I put it on there earlier that we should not put our wealth, our, our, um, ooh, what is that? Hold on. Let me turn this thing on. We should not put our, um, hold on you guys. Hold on. the heck all my stuff is not one second in money you know uh, hold on guys sorry i want to look that up but my hold on Yeah, but anyways, we should not put our, you know, uh, all of our baskets and money, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I got to share that scripture because that, that's what the Lord wants. I feel in my spirit. Uh, because why? Because that's not going to fill it. It's just getting more and more and more and you're not filling that wound. You know what I mean? And, and there's a scripture because he gives those things to, to add to your value for pleasure. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference from us going after to try to fill those wounds and try to and, and not uh, cover it up, right? <coughs> excuse me, to cover it up versus pulling that root issue out of your heart and then allowing to know that when you pull that root issue, you're not going to desire to get, always work and make money, 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 money to fill that void. Guess what? Because it's already filled. And yes, you, he'll want you to have things to, to enjoy in life with that, but you pull that root issue out of your heart, right? So you're not trying to go after that one specific thing, you know what I mean? To, to fulfill that void. Get what I'm saying? And so, oh, this is so powerful, Lord. What else did you want me to share? Anyways, so it's just different. Like, I see myself from before when I was in wounded heart to where I'm at now. You know what I mean? And just the confidence in who I am and just like walking and choosing from my whole heart is so cool. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, you know, and I'm called to help people. So I do help them. But it's just a difference. You know what I mean? Like, and God shows you like this person is in my life for a long term. This person is short term. This person I'm just going to help. This person I'm just going to give a word to. Blah, blah, blah. You got to put people in their categories. You know what I mean? Like, and it's so true. You know what I mean? Because not everybody, you know, is the same energy as you or is go are working towards like, you know, uh, like for me, you know, I'm working. That's what God's called me here to be, you know, is to go, you know, I want to go take go to levels I never thought I could go. You know, that's the whole point of the cross demands change. You know what I mean? Like, and when we're not dealing with those root issues, we have the same thing happen to us. And what ha Oh, this is another, but like what happens is, right? We go in these cycles, okay? And it's like, why is not happening? Because why is everything just keep going the same thing, right? And But it just eventually, because God, 
you know, loves you so much, he'll allow it to get so bad where he's like showing you like, where you have to go within now, you know what I mean? And you have to go to those deep, deep issues so you could remove that stuff, you know, and remove it from your heart, okay? Whatever it is, like it's whatever trauma is, is in your life, okay? And remove that root issue so you're not filling it with whatever that is in your life. It could be uh, addictions, right? It could be like money. It could be, you know, um, whatever it is in your life, you know what I mean? You know, uh, I, I just had this picture of the heart, like... I need to find one, but and it has all these things on it, you know what I mean? Like from everybody, money, you know, weight loss, weight, you know, all this stuff like that, you know, alcohol, drugs, sex, fornication, um, you know, pornography, like has like a heart full of all the whatever it is, you know what I mean? And this is a cool thing too, you know, just a little idea for you guys, is to get a dark heart and write on there, like get a black heart or whatever. And you can even buy it. You could do whatever you want. You know what I mean? Like, and get creative. But, and put all your wounds on that heart, right? And when you're allowing God to do, to come into your heart, right? And you're, you're, you know, you're sitting there. And you, and this is where your relationship comes with the Lord to be alone, right? And so, and you're, you could, you, this is so amazing. He's so real and he will do it. Like, I'm living proof of that, okay? No counselors or like that. Just God, you know? And he knows how to do it in your life. You know what I mean? He knows your, you know, work situation in life, your family, right? And so... But as he does this work, remember, you're going to drop off people. Why? Because you're healing. And now you're seeing the truth the enemy doesn't want you to see. You see? Oh, see what's inside of you? See all this? So the enemy attacked me so hard because this was what's inside of me when I was breaking free from the lies and all the people and all the places, all these things. He was he's been removing the people, not because of you, but because of you are healing and you are doing the work and the lies are dropping off you now. Now you're not as vulnerable. Now it's the enemy... The, 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 uh, the enemy, which is people, places, things, right? And your life are looking at like, wow, I can't fool that person anymore. I can't, right? Because now you're working from a whole healed heart. Oh, the power. You're so powerful, Lord. Get him say This is what he's talking about. Like, this is the physical of a healer. You know what I mean? I was like, lay hands and stuff like that. And, you know, but he's, uh, oh man, this is so powerful. I love you, Lord. I just thank you, Lord, for this word right now. I just speak over life over these people. Whoever reaches this message, Lord, I just speak life over them, Lord. And again, I just pray that you touch these people, Lord, and that you you give this word to who needs to hear it right now, Lord. And I just thank you for the work in their lives, Lord. I thank you for everything that you continue to do in my life and that you continue elevating me. Like I said, you could take me wherever you want. There's no limit. There's no limit, Lord. I mean, there's no limit, you guys, where he could take you. It's all within you and where you want to go and what you want to stop seeing in your life negatively happening you cut that off. And that's cutting like generational curses. You know what I mean? Like you're going to the root. God did that to me. I, I, he, not by choice. It was my my will. You know what I mean? Like that he chose for my life is to cut. It stops with me. All these generational things passed on. Stuff like that. Or stops with me. And it's a mindset. You know what I mean? Like, and so he broke a lot of these things off of me. So I could go forward into the future. And for uh, children, my children and stuff like that. That they don't have to deal with this anymore. You know what I mean? Like, and I was like, let's do this. I'm I'm all in, you know? And then as you just the energy, you know what I mean? And as you're moving those things, you're gonna get more energy. You're gonna start seeing yourself totally different. Your confidence is gonna go way more up. You know what I mean? Like, but this is where we have to in the world, everybody, I see it. And I, I I'm a seer, you know what I mean? Like, and, and and when you get we all have gifts, you know what I mean? It's just uh being mature to uh to see them, you know what I mean? I, I don't I really believe I had my gifts before, but I wasn't mature enough to see them and God could start using them and working them in my life until I was a mature and, he'll, and, the, and you, uh, you as well is that you have gifts, right? But until you're mature enough, until you start doing the work, then you won't start realizing, wow, I had this gift. I had a gift to see all the time. Now, some people, but I didn't see it myself. See, the enemy saw it before I did. You know what I mean? Like he'll always see the, the, he'll see inside you, you know what I mean? Before you do, you know? Anyways, and so, uh, but I, I kept, as I kept doing the work, I was like, wow, this person, and then he started showing me the true colors of people, you know what I mean? Like, and it's so sweet because I am the sweetest, kindest, big hardest, like God, Christ, give me his heart, you know what I mean? And I'm supposed to love like Christ, that's why I put on my page, love of Christ. But loving like Christ too is loving yourself so you can be able to love those people that speak truth in their life as well. You know what I mean? And so you loving yourself and dealing with those wounds, you're going to be a blessing to people whether they like it or not. You know what I mean? Because you're going to be able to speak from a healed heart and speak truth to those people. You know what I mean? And whether they choose to hear or not, that's not your problem. That's you. That's there in Jesus. We're just called to share the truth. You know what I mean? As a child of God, I'm called to speak truth to other people because I want to see their life grow. I want to see the best for them. You know what I mean? Like, and so, uh, and that's when we hold people back or they're not real with you. You know what I mean? Like, 
um, is that we're not speaking truth. You know what I mean? Like, and um, this is just so powerful. I just thank you, Lord, for this word. But anyways, I hope this blesses you guys. I just felt the fire and I just wanted to get this word out to you guys. And oh, let me read that scripture. Hold on, you guys. Let me read that scripture. Okay. Is it? Okay, it says, um, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, yeah, I'm about to go throw my hair up and Get to go work out. That's another. Okay, so profile. Come on. Okay, so where is it at? <laughs> Excuse me. So can I pause that? Okay. It says First Timothy six seventeen to eighty offers divine instruction for the wealthy among us. The passage passage reads. Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant nor to put their hope in wealth, which is, hold on, hope in wealth, which is, put their hope in God, which is, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment, okay? Yeah, and not to be arrogant, not to, not, nor to put their hope in wealth, which is, I can't see that word, sorry, it's covering it up. which is so uncertain. The fire. But to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Get you know what I'm saying? And so, um, and that's what he was talking about. You know what I mean? Like, is not to try to fill those voids, you know, and um, place it with, all those material things because they'll never work you know what i mean it'll be a temporary fill and you're back to empty again right so anyways god bless you guys oh yeah what was i gonna say oh yeah even your confidence and and and, and as you're doing this work right you're 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 pouring into yourself as well you know what i mean like just the the food you eat everything right because of those wounds you know what i mean need to be pulled that's a root issue this is so cool because it is it's a root issue of everything in our life from eating habits to right if you really think about it the root issue is you need to get like all the other trainers we have all the oh wow you're so good god i feel it get what i'm saying it's not oh i need a better trainer i need to eat this uh, uh better you know diet plan it's going to the deep root issue that's causing you to overeat i was an overeater i don't know if you guys are, i'm an eater you know what i mean so when i eat I was eating and feeling those feelings, you know, until I started doing the work, you know what I mean? And now, you know, and I still enjoy it, don't get me wrong, but it's in a, from a different place, you know what I'm saying? It's from a healed heart now, you know what I mean? Not like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have all these wounds and I'm eating, 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 but it's from a different kind of place, an enjoyable and happy place, you know what I'm saying? And so you just want to feed yourself better, you want to work out, you know, it's in uh, moderation, you just... Don't crave those things to fill that hole anymore. You know what I mean? And and you just keep going throughout your life. You know what I mean? And he'll keep doing it. It's part of your journey. You know what I mean? But the root issue of everything that causes us to go out there and do these things, whether it, maybe you're someone, and maybe if you're someone that is someone that takes advantage or, you know, you just like use people or whatever, what wounds are you that need to deal with in that issue, you know what I mean? Or because we fight against spirits that latch on to us, okay? That's what it really is. It's spirits that latch on to people, okay? And, you know, jealous, envy, right? What are those roots issues? Maybe you're someone that, like, you know, um, or intimidate, right? I go around people, I intimidate a lot of them, my energy and stuff like that, but I'm the sweetest, kindest person. But those are like root issues when you go around somebody in your life, whatever it is, good, sad, or make you, right? Those are the, God's trying to show you something right there, okay? So maybe you go around someone and you're feeling like a jealous spirit, right? What is that root in your life that God's trying to point out to you that you need to pull and that you need to work on? Get what I'm saying? You know, and so like with my finances, I'm working on that. I know you know, God is pouring into me right now and, and dealing with that. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, because I'm breaking a poverty spirit on generations, right? So now I'm in this area, like, what is that wound that's causing? You know what I mean? Like, and so, um, anyway, this is so cool. You know what I mean? Like, how, and 
in, as he's working in your life, you know what I mean? Like, and it's a process. So enjoy the journey, but like start off small, you know what I mean? Like, um, again, like I said, get a black heart, put all the wounds that you faced in your life that, you know, that are painful. Okay. And then get a healthy heart. And as he takes care, like you get little squish balls, you could write a paper, a black heart, a red heart, a, you know, healthy heart and a dark heart. Okay. And as he deals with those issues in your life, the dark issues, you could take those and scratch them off that dark heart and put them on the healed heart. Get what I'm saying? And, oh, I feel the spirit. Thank you, Lord. And you could put those like, wow, I just felt that, you know, and you felt that. Oh, I'm going to cry right now because, oh, that spirit is feeling me so bad, powerfully right now. And you could put those wounds that he's healed in your life and put them on that healed heart. You know what I mean? And and, and just go and enjoy the process. It's not about, it's about you and Jesus. This is the whole point. You can become what you focus on. I became like Jesus in Christ and uh, he healed me, uh, opened all those wounds so I could be healed. You know what I mean? Like I become like Christ. You know what I mean? Like and love like Christ and stuff like that. And so... And that's where we, all these wounds, we focus on this and focus on this and the enemy, right? And it has this bound and we're not even focused on our own selves, right? And this is why our world's looking like this and stuff like that, because everybody's not dealing with these issues in their life and then they're betraying it on other people, right? You know what I mean? Like all around the world, everywhere, and even in the, you know, the everywhere, you know what I mean? Like all the issues in the world, you know? And it's because we need to face those root issues in our own life and pull those issues and start and, and stop pointing the finger. You know, that's where it's God's like when he when you're in a relationship with God, he's always going to point it back to you. What is it in your heart? When someone comes up against me and stuff like that, it's like, what is it in my heart? If I'm feeling, you know, whatever it is, you know what I mean? And also knowing not just that, but as you do the healing work, you're going to see people different now. You're going to see when people come against you that they're, they're wounds. You're going to see, you know what I mean? See, I'm a seer. So I'm like, wow, this person's hurting. You know what I mean? Like when they come across me versus, you know, when you're from a wounded heart, you're like, screw them or excuse my language, but whatever it is you, you know, you, you know, or like, you're just like, wow, you see things different. You know what I mean? You see this, you're actually never the problem, but these people are the ones that were wounded. You know what I mean? Like as you do the work in your own life, you know what I mean? And then that just gives you, you're able to, not just that, you're able to love like Christ now because you're dealing those root issues, you're pulling them out and you're actually feeling sympathy for people. You know what I mean? And and you want to help them, not like poor, poor them. You know what I mean? Like, cause we have to choose to do this work in our life, but it's sympathy that you could have grace on their life. You know what I mean? And, and just be able to love them from a healed place and not a wounded place. Okay. Because this is where Christ's love is loving like Christ. It's because we have to pull those. Roots. We can't have this, this. There's a lot of fake love and even the churches stuff like that. And it's because no one's not dealing with it. hearts are far from God. You know what I mean? Like, it, and it's a scripture. And so, and this is where he's just called me, you know, and in my walk, you know, it's all about the heart. Cause I remember again, I, I put, posted another video about sharing this about how I said like, Lord, all I have is my heart. I literally said this and I didn't know none of this information at the time. Okay. And, and my journey in the beginning, I was like, Lord, I have all my heart. And I remember I got fast. I just got baptized uh, again, the third time. And I was fully surrendered. He really wanted me to be baptized in the Holy spirit. So anyways, and when I fully surrendered though, in 2010, when I lost my mom, I was 26 years old when I started my journey. You know what I mean? So, you know, and to be where, where I'm at right now and you know, almost 40, <laughs> yeah, yeah, 40 years uh, what is it called? 40 years strong, you know, and, and wiser, you know what I mean? As, and as, as you're aging and you're doing this work, right, you're getting strong, you're getting wiser. That's why your later days are better than your early, later, early days, right? Because you're dealing with all that, you know, you know, the immaturity at a young age, right? And as you're growing and you're dealing with, you know, all these issues and problems and you're maturing, you're doing, you're actually doing the work and not going back in cycles, you know, going, you know what I mean? Like, and repeating it, but like you're doing the work and you understand, oh, wow, I shouldn't do that again. You know what I mean? Like, and going with the root issue, you're growing, you're maturing and you're, you're getting better as time goes by. And it's so freaking powerful. You know what I mean? Like, and you're wise. That's why I said, uh, I saw some lady, she was like, uh, I'm turning 40 years strong and 41 years and 45. And I love that. You know what I mean? Because it's true. You know, it's like the, uh, and the more we're like doing that work and stuff like that, we're getting stronger. We're getting wiser, beautiful. And that's beauty in that. You know what I mean? Like, and, and maturing, you know what I mean? Like, and it's so amazing, you know? And so even though at a young age though, you guys, um, at a young age, I, um, was mature, I had to mature really early though. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like my, I had my gift as a little girl, but I didn't know, you know what I mean? Like, cause I remember as a teenager, I was working two jobs, paying bills, helping my mom with the kids. I dropped out of school. You know what I mean? Like, because I was helping, I was, I had to mature at a young age. It's my spirit though, you know, that God put inside me, you know? And so, 
Um, he's just been working, you know, but you know, it's just now that I'm going into this, you know, he's this last year, he's been really training me in my gifts, you know, and um, it's just so cool, you guys. So I said, God bless you. I hope this helps you guys. I just felt the spirit moving and I wanted to get this video out. And yeah, have a great day. And yes, I'm fire for Jesus all the way, 100. I have more powerful words coming, more powerful energy, you guys. Let's get up. Let's rock this. Let's do this, right? You know, and this is what this page is about, you know, and as he leads me again, I'm breaking generational curses on my life and I want to help everybody, you know what I mean? Like with what he's helped me with and share this because it's really powerful stuff that he's given me. And um, it's so cool, you guys. So God bless you. Have a great day. I look forward to speaking to you in my next video. God bless. Bye.